What's going on guys? Welcome back to video number three in this new series on a connect the dot style game with JavaScript. Now in the last video, I actually went over the GitHub repo and where you can download the files that I'm gonna be working from for the duration of this project. So like I said in the last video, your files are probably going to look different than mine do right now. And that's just because you're watching this in the future after I've already added a lot of code to it. But you can just either remove the code or just leave it in there and follow along with what I'm gonna be writing. So in this video, I just wanna set up the canvas that we're going to be using to actually draw our dots and our lines on the screen. So as you can see, I have our HTML page open right here, our index.html. And what I'm gonna do is just start off by writing our basic canvas element into our HTML body. And I'm just gonna give it an ID of dots. And now your HTML page probably just looked like this because this is probably going to be the only HTML tag we actually write. Just because most of the stuff we're gonna be doing is actually drawn on the canvas through our JavaScript. But what I'm gonna do now is just jump over into our connect.js file. And as you can see, this file is empty for me, but it wouldn't have been empty for you. But if you wanna go ahead and delete the code that's there and follow along with the rest of the series, or again, if you just wanna leave it there, I'll go over what the stuff means. So the first thing we're gonna do on this page is actually define a global variable called data. And we're gonna set that equal to an object. And now data is gonna hold all of our gl the global variables that we normally would have. We're just gonna hold those inside of our data object. And we just do that to hopefully avoid any variable name collisions. And the first function we're gonna write is actually just to set up our canvas. So I'm gonna write a function here and we're just gonna call it prep canvas. And I noticed on previous projects that the canvas scale isn't always correct. Um, a lot of the newer devices actually have higher pixel ratios. My phone, for instance, the 6 Plus actually has a 3 to 1 pixel ratio, which means that canvas, if you don't scale it, actually looks blurry on the screen. And it took me a while to figure out how to fix it. But I finally have this really cool solution for actually scaling up the canvas. So what we're actually going to do first is just to find two new variables. The first one being res and the second one being scale. And res is actually gonna be initialized to the window.device-pixel ratio, or to one. And then that scale is actually going to be set to that one divided by that resolution. And the next thing I'm gonna do here is actually add two new properties to our data variable here. The first one's going to be canvas, and we're gonna default it to null, and then we'll make another variable ctx and default that to null as well. And then the next part after these variables is just to set that data.canvas equal to the document.getElementById, and then we'll grab that dots canvas. And then what we'll do is just set the data.ctx equal to the data.canvas.getContext. 2D. So now whenever we need to access the canvas or the context, we can always just get it from our data rather than having to call another document, get element by ID and context and all that. So the next few lines are actually just to set up the scale and size of the canvas. So what we're going to do is first set the data.canvas.width equal to the window.innerWidth times the resolution. And then we're gonna go ahead and just do the exact same thing for the height. So we'll do the height equals the window dot inner height times the resolution. Now the next part's actually going to adjust our style, which is a little bit different. We do the data dot canvas dot style dot width equals the window dot inner width and just add pixels to that. And then of course the same thing for our height style dot height equals the window dot inner height plus pixels. And the last part here is actually just to set the scale of the context. So we're just gonna go ahead and do data dot ctx dot scale and set that to the res and res for the x and y. And now that's actually gonna take care of everything we need to get this canvas set up. So now all we're gonna have to do is call our prep canvas function and then if we just jump back into our HTML, because we're not going to be able to see our canvas on the screen since it's white, we'll just do a quick style of background blue. 
so we can see this canvas on our screen now. So if you just go ahead and drag your HTML file into the browser, you can see that we've got our full blue background with the exception of our white borders. And we'll actually take care of those borders later on. All right, guys, that'll wrap up video number three. Thanks for watching. And yesterday I actually made a video on how to get your HTML projects set up to work on your phones through PhoneGap Desktop. So you guys should check that out. Link will be on the screen and in the description. Make sure to comment below if you have suggestions on future videos. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.